So we are starting the from today onwards, we are starting the HANA administration classes, HANA 2.0 administration classes. Today, we'll discuss about the small introduction part, what is HANA and ETC. Then, Monday onwards, we will run the actual classes. Today, let's discuss about the some, some more introduction about the HANA here. So, what is HANA? Right? HANA is a one of the database. Sir, HANA also database, right? So we have the SQL Server, Oracle, so like DB2, MaxDB, Sybase. We have the databases. Same as like HANA also database, right? Then why nowadays everybody highlighting HANA, why HANA, 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 what is HANA? In the nowadays, if you see any resume, if you see any job portal, HANA, HANA, HANA. So why? Why it is very important, right? So there is a one good future is there in the HANA. Anna is a one good future is there. There are a lot of, not one future, there are a lot of futures are there and a lot of advantages are there in the HANA side. Anna is a database. What type of database is this? Anna is a, Anna is a column oriented, column oriented, columnar in memory database. Sir, what is this? Column oriented, columnar in memory. Sir, why many, this many technical words here? So, column oriented. So, normally, other databases will store the data in the form of, in the disk storage level, either C driver, D drive, E driver, drives level. So, disk level, it will store the data, table, the table contains the rows and the columns. But HANA is a column, columnar database, column oriented, column oriented columnar database also it's a in memory database in memory database in memory means in ram memory physical memory which means all the data resides inside of the memory not the, the disk level here inside of the memory it will store it so this is a, one of the so one of the great uh, future sap introduced in the in the HANA database. HANA is a in-memory column-oriented columnar database here. Right? Sir, why they have named it as the HANA? They can name it as the different, right? Then what is the abbreviation of the HANA here? What is the abbreviation of the HANA here? HANA is a like high performance, high performance analytical, analytic, analytical, 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 Analytical applications, high performance analytical appliance here. High performance analytical appliance here. That is called the HANA database here. High performance analytical appliance here. Right? So, so which means, which means it's a multimodal database. It's a high performance. In the name itself, you have seen the performance wise, it's a very high performance. Why? Because the data is storing in RAM level, not the RAM level. Means memory level, the data is getting stored, not the disk level. It's a multimodal database that stores the data in its memory instead of keeping the data on a disk. Instead of keeping the data on a disk, it's storing the data in memory platform. In memory, it is storing the data. That's why we will call it as a is a column oriented in memory database that runs on advanced analytics that runs on advanced advanced analytics it side it will run on the advanced analytical appliance analytical appliance here yeah, it, it contains only columns there is no store no row store tables no rows only columns we have that's why it's a column oriented the first column oriented columnar in memory database compared to the other databases, it's a column oriented columnar database here. Column oriented and columnar database here. Right? This is the HANA database here. HANA database main main is like a it's a runs on the it will not run, it will run on it runs on only the Linux platform, not the Windows platform. So it will run only on the Linux admin Linux platform only, either Susie Linux or Red Hat Linux only here. 
and it builds on it builds on what the the language is the C plus plus language using the C plus plus language the ANA ANA database got builded using the C plus plus language and it run it runs on only on the Linux platform here. It's a high performance analytical appliance here. ANA database can be distributed to the multiple machines. We can install in the multi mode mode. That means in the multiple inst multiple host also we can install it. Not only single, multiple also we can install it here. ANA is useful as it's a very fast. ANA is a very fastest database in the market. Why? Because all the data loaded in memory. No need to load the data into the disk level from the disk. Just the main memory level, the data is storing. That is the one of the advantage. So that is the reason ANA is the one of the fastest database. On fly, we can make the we can make the business decisions. We can make the business decisions here by uh, by analyzing the reports and analytics. On fly, we can make the business decisions here. Ana will use the linear search. Why it is very fast? Or means Ana will use the linear search method. Linear search method. By using this method, multiple threads will attack in the database level to get the data. Immediately, it will show the results to you. Oh, so Ana database consists of there is a multiple inside of the Ana database. They are the multiple data processing engines are there so it will process your business data very quickly as per your requirement very quickly in the table level it will process it here in memory is a main memory processing engine here it works with the so as a ana there are two processing here it works as a relational database management like oltp and olp olap here so normally other databases anyone can store it either OLAP or OLTP means TP means transactional processing which means the relational database engine transactional processing here OLAP means it's a analytical processing also means BWO is the one of the analytical system TP is the transactional system right so TP is the transactional means ECC so in one Dana database multiple data models we can process it here tp and ap tp and ap we can process it here now online analytical processing online so transactional processing which will we can run it here right so that is the one of the here ana ana in the hana database we have the there are the multiple compression techniques are there in the hana database when the data coming to the hana database data will be compressed into the multiple layers like compression techniques are there so that it will it will compress the data in the 1 gb data it will compress it will go to the 30 percent data will be compressed so it will come to the 700 mb something like that it will come to like that here just around just i'm telling something something the space will be reduced here the space will be reduced in the ana database side here right ana database side the space will be reduced here. Another database said the space will be reduced here. So it's another words high performance analytical data. Like it say performance is very high to process the data and everything here. That's why HANA is a is an in memory column oriented relational database management. It's a developed and marketed by the SAP SC only. So it's a SAP product, the developed and they have marketed by the SAP, SAP, SC only. The primary functions of the, the software data, the primary functions of the HANA database is, what is the primary function of the HANA database? Database, the primary function is to store the data, right? Normally, any database, the primary function is to store the, to store the business data in the form of tables, to store the business data to store the business data business data in the form of table level it will store the business data here so running on the database to store the and retrieve the business data as requested by the applications or any other third party tools which required the data it will pull the data from the back end system retrieve the data 
it will store the data here and also in addition to the store and retrieval it will also performs the advanced analytics spectacle data processing the predictive analytics so text data analytics search data the streaming analytics graph data processing so not only just uh, storing the data just retrieving the data so it has in addition to that it perform the advanced analytics advanced analytics means analysis data analysis so the streaming related analytics here the spectacle data processing the predictive analysis here there the search analysis here there are the multiple etl tools we can integrate it to grab the data right so that is the we can do it in the hana database level Hello. here so hana hmm. database level there are multiple multiple things are hmm. i muted them okay so multiple things are there coming to the when they have the initial release the sap developed here in 2010 SAP initial release happened here. Initial release of the HANA database in 2010, they have released it here. So now, after that, first of all, initially when they have released it in 2010, that is the HANA 1.0. Now, when it comes to the now HANA 2.0, then after that, versions wise, we have the SPS 07 is the, the latest version 15 months ago means 4th august means almost like so uh 2023 2023 they have released it here 2023 they have released it here so now it's almost one year one year you have released it with here so this type of one year one year ago the latest version they have released it new version is going to release it here it's a multi-modal type database the license is the proprietary commercial license here proprietary commercial license here right so sap sap before the hana database the early coming to the if i talk about the early yeah, the early development of the hana database they are the number of technologies sap developed to achieve this concept and sap also acquired by they have included the tricks tricks also we have the tricks search engine and memory column monitor search engines, the p time search engines. They have multiple max db, max db also SAP product, Ibase also SAP product, then Trex, then later they have developed the HANA. In the HANA, they have included the Trex functionalities here. Trex functionality they have included in here. Right? So that is the that purpose. They have first initial release, they have released in the 202010, then after that 2012. It's not only it, it not only supports we can only install on the not only support on the on prem environment it's also support the and supports on the on prem and cloud also we can also install the the hana database on the cloud side also in the cloud environment also we can install it here cloud environment also we can install it in the hana database here cloud environment also you can install it here right so hana it's a uh, it's a combined oltp and olep operations in the single system single system multiple operations are possible multiple operations are possible here so it's kind of is an online transaction and analytical processing also known as the so it's a hybrid transactional analytical processing here so the main function of here storing the data in memory instead of storing the data into the RAM memory, storing the data into the RAM memory here. Also, HANA manages the concurrency through the use of the MVCC, it will use the concurrency. And also the scale out environment for the big 4C databases, we can also install the HANA in the scale out means multi operating system, multiple hosts, we can install the HANA here, we can install the HANA databases and everything here, right? The primary function is to store, retrieve the data. Not only this one, we have the lot of analytical functions also available here. Not of the analytical functions also available here, right? That is the main function here, right? The main thing is HANA database is to store the data, to store the data in memory level here, memory level. Suppose other databases, other databases like here, we have the CPU, memory and disk format so 
whenever any request here, what will happen here? This is a, it will come to the CPU, then disk format here, then it go to the memory. It will go to the memory here. Then data will go to the CPU. Then CPU request will go to the CPU. CPU to main mem. <coughs> Sorry. So here it is the memory. Memory. Then last is the disk here. Disk means your C drive, D drives are disks here. Like data will go to the CPU, request will go to the CPU, then main memory, main memory to disk format. So which means it's taking time. Request whenever the user requests something, CPU will take load and memory, memory to disk and here it will do the searching and everything. It will push the data back to the users here. It will push the data back to the users here. So it's taking time here. So when it comes to the HANA database, CPU, CPU, then you have the main memory. In the main memory itself, you have the data is residing into the main memory itself. You have the data is residing here. So which means so CPU, 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 CPU here. Then this is the so main memory. In the main memory itself, your disk is storing. Data is storing into the your main memory itself here. So it is going to the here. Then your data is here only, it is grabbing the data, then immediately it is giving the response to the users here. So here you are saving this much of time, right? You are saving the this much of time here. Also, accessing the data from main memory is faster than disk here. It is faster than disk here. If you access the data from the disk, main memory is very fast here. One lakh time faster than disk. Accessing the data from main memory is one like faster than disk here. So that's why HANA is the one of the fastest database compared to the other databases. Storing the data into the main memory. So it's required the lot of memory you required. That's why in normal systems, we cannot practice all those things here. It's required the, so minimum 64 GB, 128 GB RAMs are required to support to practice the HANA installations. HANA upgrades, HANA operating, all those things you required the this much of data we required here, right? HANA is the one of the fastest database in the market here, okay? This is the one thing here, okay? So now coming to the our topics, this is just normal introduction, you know, introduction part, we will cover it again. Then coming to the our scope of activities here, yeah, the first topic which we are going to discuss the, so HANA, installation requirement here ana installations the first topic here as part of this one hana is a combination of the hardware and software requirements so carefully we need to plot the the hardware sizing and softwares we have to download it then we should know about the some linux commands also to operate the hana administration you should know about the linux all those things we will discuss hana installations hana upgrades then uh, all those things, ANA installations, ANA upgrades, ANA administration part, parameter changes, how to do it, how to stop, how to start it, delta merge, save points, backups, restore, recovery, refresh, right? Then, so all those things will be covered in the ANA administration topic time here. Okay. So, this is the general introduction about the HANA. Our first class about the, it will start now from Monday onwards. Monday will start the HANA administration, starting with the installation topic here, right? So meanwhile, so I will provision your, you have the HANA, I will create the uh, 